Good morning, guys. Today, I want to spend this day with you. Get ready. We are going to explore Italian capital Rome together and spend this weekend together. Shall we go? Ah, before I forget, guys, if you want me to do a similar video about a typical day in Norway, please also drop me a comment down below. Let's go. One day, like Italian, in Rome. What a gorgeous day today. I can't wait to show you everything, guys. You've been a part of my life, some of you, for almost a year now, so it's time to get a little bit more personal. I'm Anna, welcome to my channel. Or for some of you, welcome back. How to make every weekend special. My special weekend in Rome usually starts with cornetto and cappuccino. Many people asking me, well, you're in Rome, why don't you have this breakfast every single day? There are two reasons behind it, guys. First of all, you saw this cornetto. You can imagine what it will make to your health and to your body if you have it every single day for breakfast. What is it? And the second reason why I don't have this fantastic cornetto every single day, I want to feel it as a treat, guys. By the way, what's your favorite breakfast? Please let me know in the comments down below. Do you usually have breakfast? If you do, what it usually is? Definitely endorphins. This is how my perfect weekend usually starts in Rome. Did you see the price? Four euros for both cappuccino and cornetto. This place also has fantastic pasta. You should try it. I will drop you the link to the place in the description to this video. One of my absolutely favorite places in Rome is Piazza Navona. And I'm coming here every Saturday after my breakfast just to have a little bit of inspiration. Here for me, it's one of the best places in Rome to get motivated and get inspired. So usually here I might read a book sitting on the bench or just create some new ideas for my future vlogs. By the way, what's your favorite place in your city, in your town, which makes you creative, inspired and gives you that energy. Please drop me in the comments down below. By the way, guys, you see, if you come here early morning on Saturday, it's going to be not too many people. So it's a great opportunity for you to take some gorgeous pictures. We are still in Italy, no matter that we are in the very heart of Rome. And you would never guess what's coming next. Villa Borghese Park in Rome city centre, only 15-20 minutes away from Via dei Candotti and Spanish Steps from my previous video. And this is what you get. You can come here to exercise or just to take a walk, feed the birds, or just have a little picnic and relax during that Italian famous riposo. So choose your thing, whatever makes you happy. Villa Borghese.
is the will, there is a way. I just showed you a great way to keep exercising when you're in Rome, even if it's August and it's plus 36, 40 outside, shadow of Villa Borghese will help you. So you can take a nice walk here, you can read a book, have your picnic, relax, reposo, lunchtime, or you can have a little bit of exercising. Just don't forget to take a pair of your favorite trainers with you. Let me show you something else. Super, super cool. Let's go. And don't forget about Pincho, guys, when you're visiting Villa Borghese. It's a super romantic spot for those amazing pictures and also for this fascinating view on Rome. <laughs> And by the way, guys, well, we are getting personal today. So, Pincho in Villa Borghese, this is the exact place where my channel started. Even my profile picture from my YouTube channel was taken right here in October last year. We can pretend the time is still. Stay in the daydream, chase the thrill. Make up the way as we go. Live for the moment. Lunchtime in Rome and in Italy in general, lots of people having the reposo, afternoon break. But for me, I prefer going to some more my favorite places, like this one, Castel dell'Angelo. It's a beautiful castle with an angel on top of it, and it also has this fantastic bridge next to it, Ponte dell'Angeli. And the main rule of this place, guys, do not touch your phone. <laughs> I'm usually just walking and admiring my, the surroundings without having finally no phone in my hands. What do you think about this place? Do you like it? Have you been here before or would you like to visit it when you are in Rome next time? guys i'm begging you don't do your shopping here if you're after some branded products watch my previous video and go to via Candotti. there you will find real ones here please guys no no shopping here no shopping And right next to Castel Sant'Angelo, we have this gorgeous park. You can also come here with your book. By the way, one of my previous videos was filmed here in this exact park. You see how creative and inspiring this place is. Those of you who know me for quite some time already know that where is river, there is me. If you watched my previous video about London, you know, I'm even choosing my accommodation based on how close this to riverside. Same in Rome, I love Tevere. This is my 
my absolute favorite place in Rome, guys. Fontana di Trevi. I hope you can hear me now. I'm coming to this place every time I'm in Rome. I don't know what makes it so magic for me. Maybe I'm a fan of water. Maybe I'm a fan of this combination of amazing colors of white marble and blue water. I just love it. And every time I'm coming here, I'm breaking global rule of tossing that coin into Fontana di Trevi. I don't toss this coin to come back to Rome. No, I have my own rule. Every time I'm tossing my coin into Pantane di Trevi, I'm making a wish. Any wish I want, even now, I'm going to make a wish and toss this coin to Pantane di Trevi. It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. And you know what's interesting about our wishes, guys? When you have such a holy place for making your wishes come true. When you're coming to this place and quite often you realize that you have just two or three main wishes. The real wishes which are coming from your heart is going to be two or three and that's it. And when you figure out what those two or three wishes which make you really happy when you think about it, write them down as goals. Take a few steps towards accomplishing those goals. Just accomplish a few things to make them come true and the Fontaine will do the rest for you. I promise. Really makes me wonder. Aperitivo. Really makes me wonder. Lovely Italian tradition, or my way to start my Saturday evening in Rome. Aperitivo, when you come to any place, Piazza Navona, right now, and you're ordering your drink, Aperol Spritz. If you don't know how to pronounce this one, you should probably watch my previous video. You're coming to a place like this, you're ordering your drink, and together with your drink, you're getting just a few simple snacks. One drink, simple snacks, aperitivo in Italy. Usually aperitivo happens before you're going for actual dinner. This is the perfect ending of my perfect Saturday in Rome. To go to a great restaurant and spend my time with great people. Italians are late eaters and when you're in Rome, when you're in Italy, if you want to have your traditional dinner, it will be served usually after 7.30, 8 p.m. spending this amazing day with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe, be happy and get ready to travel the world. I love you lots. See you next week. Good night guys. Buona notte.